This is Justin Coleman with the Master Sales Funnels podcast, and this is episode 21. I'm deeming this the start of season two, so welcome if you're new to the podcast. Um, I'm going to be trying to do a little bit more video with the podcast this season to reach new audiences, upload it to YouTube, upload it to Facebook, hopefully spread my message and my teachings a little more. Um, if you've tuned in for season one or you've gone back and listened to it, thank you very much for um, being there and hopefully you're, you're getting, um, a good mindset out of what I taught you in season one, because season one was all about mindset, mindset that you need to start a business mindset that you need to get your funnels up and going. Um, like I said, last season mindsets, a 75, 80% of the game, because if you're not in the right state of mind and you don't have the right thinking patterns, then you're not going to get very far because you're going to trip yourself up and you're going to doubt yourself and you're, you're just not going to succeed. So um, now that you, we have the mindset, um, if you haven't listened to the episodes, make sure you go back and listen to them to get the mindset. But now that we have the mindset, um, we're ready to start talking about affiliate marketing. Um, season two is going to be all about affiliate marketing because if you're just starting out and you don't have your own product to sell, then affiliate marketing is really the place to start. Um, if you want to start your own funnel and meet your own goals, but you don't have time or an idea to build a product, I mean, you can sell other people's stuff. That's affiliate marketing. Um, there's plenty of opportunity out there for affiliate marketing, whatever you're interested in, whatever you're passionate about. I mean, you want to make sure that you're passionate about what you're selling or you're you're going to lose your drive um, once you get all your structure in place and you're going through, uh, I'll just call it a slog. Even if you like it, it's kind of a, it's kind of a slog sometimes. So you got to be very passionate about what you're selling. And um, if you go to any website that you frequent often, um, if they're selling a product or if you take courses on that website, maybe um, if you scroll down to the bottom of that website, there's likely to be a section for affiliates and you can click on that and you can sign up and then you get commissions for selling the products of the company that you already really like. So it's a great way to get started. Um, like I said, you don't need your own product and there's a lot of other benefits besides being able to sell something without having your own product. You get to um, not have to worry about fulfillment of what you're selling or distribution because the company that you're an affiliate for takes care of that. They take care of support. Um, I sell Funnelytics and ClickFunnels mainly and I don't have to worry about if the software goes down. I don't have to worry about if there's an issue with the software because their support team's going to handle that for people. So I make the sale, I get a commission. I mean, I need to care about my audience and provide um, training, but as far as the product itself goes, I can't really supply support for that because it's not my product. So, I mean, that's a good thing is you don't have to worry about a lot of the logistics of the product that you're selling. So that makes it great to start with. Um, also in affiliate marketing, you get to start building your own audience and um, through building your audience, you're really building an asset for your business. People are getting to know you as the attractive character of your business. You're starting to find your voice and find your message. And you can do that without your own product. You can do that by being the guru for somebody else's product. So um, you want to build trust with people. You want people to like you. And that way later when you do have a product to sell or even if you just stick with affiliate marketing, people are going to trust you more and be more willing to buy from you. And it's not, I mean, it's not all about just getting people to buy from you. You want to actually build relationships with people. And if you can create a common interest around this product, if you can be that um, helping hand for people and that extra training that maybe the affiliate company doesn't provide, you're really going to build up that trust in your audience. 
um, through affiliate marketing, you hopefully get to build your own website. Um, I wouldn't recommend going to Facebook and spamming everybody with your link because that doesn't really work. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can go about affiliate marketing, but I always recommend um, building your own guides and trainings around the product to help people. If they sign up through you, you can give them free trainings on the product so that they get that extra bonus, that extra value. And yes, you're giving it away for free, but you get the affiliate commissions. Um, hopefully they're recurring commissions, which we'll talk about in later episodes that you want to make sure you have recurring income coming in. You don't need that on every product you sell, but there's some, um, I would say guidelines that I would go through, um, to make sure that you are selling a good product. Uh, if you're selling like a $10 product and you only get like a dollar something per sale, that's going to be like pulling teeth because it, it's not recurring and it's a low, low dollar. So, I mean, you got to find something that you love, but also something that's going to pay the bills. Um, you get to learn and grow through affiliate marketing. So um, I've learned a lot uh, since I started in 2018, the fall of 2018, selling Funnelytics. Um, that was the first big company that I became an affiliate for. Um, I say big because they have large commissions. I think it's like 30% per sale. So um, they're not a big company. They weren't at the time either. I mean, they're growing now, but um, I've learned a lot since starting with them. I've learned how to write articles and do SEO better. I mean, I started SEO in 2016, so I brought a little bit of that into the affiliate marketing game, but um, really it's learning what works and finding your voice and growing as a business person and as, I don't know, I don't want to say guru exactly because guru is kind of becoming a dirty word because there's a lot of gurus out there that um, people think are just out to take people's money. And I mean, a lot of that may be true, but a lot of us out there are really actually trying to help people because if you're not helping people, then you're not building that trust and you're not, you're not going to have longevity because people are going to fail on the product. I mean, people hear $97 to $300 a month, $297 a month for click funnels. And they're just like, I, there's no way I can afford that. But um, it's the job of people like me to provide trainings to make you successful because if you're successful, then we get the commission every month that you pay for the software. So it's, really beneficial to us, but I mean, it's beneficial to you. We want to, I want to help you succeed because I mean, there's no point in not helping people. It's not just about making money, especially in times like this, where it's hard to work a physical job in a physical location. There's opportunity out there for a lot of us. And so I'm really passionate about helping people in learning funnels and ways to make money on their own with their own products, with their own services in order to get around um, physical con uh, constrictions in business. As I said before, my affiliate experience started in 2018 selling Funnelytics and I started in blogging, which some of those blogs are ranking. So I get a sell every now and then. Um, but I'm finding other ways in order to um, sell things. Um, I, I got from I went from Funnelytics to selling ClickFunnels because ClickFunnels is pretty tightly integrated with Funnelytics. Um, they've recently actually ClickFunnels has a, a lifetime deal to Funnelytics, which I'll link in the show notes um, because it's on the back end of the secrets trilogy book funnels because Russell Brunson realized that funnelytics is such a great tool for mapping out funnels and tracking visitors. And also funnelytics had already kind of integrated with click funnels without Russell's permission because they built out, um, I guess I'll go back and say that they have a, a vault of, I don't even know how many, it's over 60 now, I think. They may be way more than that, but um, they have million dollar sales funnels from expert digital marketers that they've 
built out the the layout and the plan of the funnel within Funnelytics, but they've taken it a step further and built out each of those within click funnels and they give you that share funnel obviously they're trying to get you to buy click funnels as well so they get a little bit of commission but they realize that it's really a, a partner software with theirs so i went from funnelytics to click funnels and um, i did a weight loss program so i sell noom that's 15 to 20 dollars per sale so that goes back to not one of the the better things to sell because it's not recurring and you have to sell new each time and it's such a low dollar, but it's, it's a nice supplement to, um, my affiliate business basically, because, uh, it's really big on Pinterest. I mean, weight loss things are big on Pinterest, so I can hit that market with new pins whenever I want to boost sales on that. Or if it's not going as well on Funnelytics and ClickFunnels as I'd like it to be, I can focus on Noom for a little bit and get a little bit more commission rolling there. So it's kind of like stocks kind of diversifying lower sell items with higher ticket items. Um, I mean, I, I've sold through things through Amazon, which I haven't really gotten that to work super well. I mean, we have an article ranking for the Stealth Board which is kind of uh, video games while planking. Um, we've gotten, I don't know, four sales through that, but it's like a $200 board and we only get like, I don't know, it's ridiculous, like 80 cents or something. I mean, people have made livings off of being Amazon affiliates, but I haven't cracked the code on that. But really, if you like any kind of product, you can build a whole site around a section, a category uh, on Amazon, like tech or books or movie reviews or something along those lines and you can build a whole site around that and you can be an amazon affiliate um there's marketplaces like impact that we're a part of that's what we sell noom through that's what my wife sells pvolve her exercise program through um so you can join a network and just kind of pick and choose and apply for different companies that that fit what niche that you want to get into so there's a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of criteria, I would say, that you should consider. And like I said, we'll get into that into in later episodes. But um, really, this season, as I'm talking about affiliate marketing, I'm going to be pushing the affiliate boot camp on you. It's uh, a free uh, lecture series, basically, from ClickFunnels. Um, it they interviewed, I think it's like 15 experts on how they have built their affiliate businesses. And um, really, it's about selling click funnels, but you don't have to sell click funnels. It's really good advice for pretty much anything you're selling. You can just take um, one of the plans from one of the experts and just kind of run with it with whatever product you're doing. But um, after the boot camp, you're going to be introduced to the One Funnel Away Challenge. I took the One Funnel Away Challenge in August of 2019. Yeah, 2019. And I'm actually taking it again this month. They're going to be teaching it live starting on January 11th. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. I haven't taken it in a couple years, and it's it'll be nice to take the the knowledge that I've gotten over the last couple years, and kind of refresh it with the new material that Russell's going to be pushing out in his live teachings. But um, if you want to get started in affiliate marketing, a I recommend taking the boot camp, and b I would recommend taking the one funnel away challenge after the boot camp because that really will teach you about creating your offer and how to hook people into clicking into your offer and what you need to make for your offer to make an awesome offer stack, they call it, um, to, to sell the products. So um, one example is if you do sell ClickFunnels, maybe you want to create a training around ClickFunnels that you give to people to show them how to use it or a quick start success guide or something along those lines that ClickFunnels doesn't provide. So you're making sure that people who go through your link have success, but you're also giving them that extra added value. Um, just stuff like that, how to build your first lead funnel. You'll learn that in the One Funnel Away Challenge. So, I mean, it's really what got me started on funnels. I started in inbound marketing, and um, which is kind of sales funnels, but it didn't really click until I took the One Funnel Away Challenge. So, I'll be sure to link to 
one funnel away or OFA as I may refer to it sometimes because that's the abbreviation. But um, I'll link to that and the affiliate boot camp where you can get started with the affiliate boot camp for free or the OFA challenge is $100. I do get a commission if you sign up for um, either of these and end up in the OFA challenge, just so you know. Um, I'm an affiliate marketer, as I've described. Hopefully that's blatantly obvious. I'm going to be pushing affiliate products, but again, I've gone through affiliate boot camp. I've gone through one funnel away. I'm not going to promote something unless I absolutely believe in that product because that's another thing. I mean, that's the belief that's you need to believe in products that you're selling. So I'll put those two resources in the show notes. Show notes will be at mastersalesfunnels.com slash zero two one. If you're listening to the podcast, just the audio version on Bcast, um, be sure to check out the show notes on the website as well. And I'll have the video posted there. Um, I'll probably post this on Facebook as well to, to reach that audience and YouTube. Um, wherever you're listening, um, whatever podcast platform you're listening to, be sure to subscribe. And I'd love it if you would tell somebody that you think this message would benefit uh, about the podcast because I'm trying to help people um, hopefully make money from home during these hard times. I mean, any extra money is great. And if you can figure out how to get this stuff working with these free or cheap trainings, um, then, you know, you're, you're way ahead of the game and you can have that, that backup income or maybe even make a living out of it when, uh, unfortunate things like the pandemic hit and jobs are taken away and it's just, I mean, you gotta have a backup <laughs> no matter what. I mean, you need to be able to be doing something while you're off work. So, um, affiliate marketing, I think is a great place to start because you can start today um, and not have to worry about creating your own product. So it's, it's a great place to start. Um, again, thank you for listening. And as always, keep funneling.